Customers at Airport Nissan and Nissan of Streetsboro knew something was up when they tried calling the dealerships. The mailboxes were full, couldn't get through. So Dan Bjork then tried making his appointment online, and no date options were available. That's when he decided to drive to Nissan of Streetsboro to find out what was going on. Just closed up. Driving by, it looks like business as usual. A healthy stock of inventory on the lots, but none of these cars have moved since Monday. So I walked up to the door and there was a sign saying until further notice we're closed. News 5 has learned these dealerships have had three different owners in just the last year and a half. Something those in the industry tell me is very unusual. I was here um, about a month ago for service and everything seemed normal in there. The previous owner who sold it to a group of investors out of Florida tells me it just wasn't a good fit for him financially. When I've been in here, it's kind of declining. The current owner, Automax LLC, shuttering these dealerships just six months after buying them. Why would they do something like that? Just kind of moment's notice, nobody knows anything. We tried multiple times today to reach Automax and its parent company, Aviate Capital, but no one is cooperating. Customers are taking the change in stride and are more concerned with those impacted the most. The people in here were very good service people in that, so it's terrible that they lost their jobs. 